see everyone here um, and to see such a large crowd um, and that we can all share uh, Max's wonderful book together. Um, uh, as he once said to me, uh, we were never strangers. And I feel like he may have said that to me personally, but that was a sentiment that he meant for everyone, that he didn't feel uh, people were strangers at all. He wrote his poetry to, to share uh, with everyone and, and feel like we were all together and friends. And I think that's a really important thing to remember right now. Um, one thing about Max that uh, I feel everyone that knew him knew was that he was very strong. And he truly wanted to be strong for others. He wanted to be an emotional sense of strength. And certainly he was an emotional rock for me um, in many occasions. Uh, about two years ago I had a baby and on her birth she had um, some problems. and had to stay in the hospital uh, for a few months. And, and I remember you know, telling Max what had happened and being very upset. And he said, don't worry, um, Sagittarians are often born in a crisis. Uh, he, was, he was one, so I don't know if his birth <laughs> was a crisis per se. He said, baby will pull through. And I held on to those words um, for a really long time. He was also a person, one of the few, few people that visited me in the hospital constantly over the source of those months, um, bringing me Marimiko pouches, because he knew I liked that, taking me out for hamburgers, um, just being there and sitting with me uh, in the waiting room for hours. And I once asked him why he was willing to do this, you know, hang out with some loser in a, in a hospital waiting room so many times. And, um, and he said, you know, people, often when something bad happens, people will come when it first happens and, you know, make a big dramatic show of everything, um, but nobody's there for you in the middle when you really need someone. And he was there for me. Uh, so um, he actually wrote a poem for my daughter um, and uh, came to visit her after she'd been out of the hospital um, and, uh, you know, spent some time with her and I have some very nice videos uh, which I can, you know, share, but maybe not publicly, but <laughs> anyone who asks, of them uh, together. Um, and then he uh, went home, and maybe like in 45 minutes, I got an email that said, I, I wrote a poem for Hera, um, and I hope you like it, uh, but it's okay if you don't. So <laughs> it is a very classic Max thing to say, hoping I would like it. Um, so I thought I would share it with you, uh, and it's called Love Poem for Hera. I am Hera's planet, and minding my breath is a matter of giving her a good planet. My outmost layer is her earth. Her sun and her water are commingled in my blood, and nested in them is a diamond of air. Her sky, which I tug with my lungs. How easy it is to mind one's breath when it determines the quality of another's universe. The rocking of the rubbery earth, the warmth and wetness of the sun rivers, the turbulence of the wind that serves, as all wind does, as a reminder to breathe. Buddha wants us to think of ourselves as the whole universe, Maybe so that when we breathe, we'll feel like we're supporting all the babies on all the planets, on our chest, and that would make breathing matter so much to us that we could become really great mediators. Hera, tonight I drank your mother's milk. I hoped my gut could show me your dreams. The milk burned blue with iron. It was an air draft down the throat. How much brighter the stars in your dreams than the moles on my body. Thank you very much. Thank you.